Anyone who's ridden a roller coaster can tell you that it is a very interesting experience. The ride pushes and pulls you all over the place. Sometimes it feels like you're getting pulled into the side of the car, and other times it feels like you're completely weightless. And sometimes it feels like a pair of hands has reached behind you and is caressing your body. Yeah, that last one probably isn't the ride, it's probably just me sitting behind you. Now these feelings that you experience are something called G-forces, and you might have heard some other terms that are used to describe them as well, such as airtime, or whip, or reverse cowgirl. And with all these terms just being thrown around, it really makes you think, well, what do they even mean? Uh-oh, we haven't even officially started the video and we're already in an editor's note. So, a lot of people ask me, and by a lot of people I mean absolutely nobody, why does it take so much time for videos to come out? And the answer to that is that, well, only like one out of every four videos that I ever film actually get made into a video. And this video was almost one of them. This is the fourth time that I'm doing this voiceover. And every single time that I did the voiceover, something about it just didn't feel right, like, at all. And I figured out the reason why. It's because I spent, like, half of the time just describing basic level physics. So that meant, like, half of the video was basically just a physics lesson. That was very educational and extremely entertaining. Just kidding, it was boring as hell! So after going back and forth on it a while, I pretty much cut out every single basic level physics talk out of this video. So this might be a little bit more confusing if you don't have like a baseline understanding of what a g-force is or what it does. But trust me, it's going to make a far better video, and if you're a bit confused, I'm sorry, but let me tell you, there are hundreds of different channels of people way more qualified than I am with very hard to understand Eastern European accents that can describe this way better than I could ever. And I urge you to go out and learn more about physics. It's tons of fun if you're into roller coasters at all. It's something that you should... Hey! Oh, you trying to be educational in here? Dude, I was just... I thought we talked about it. <laughs> it, it. Come here! Beat the shit out of oh! A g-force is a measurement of acceleration, or a force, so anything can be measured in a g-force. So technically, me wrapping my hands around your body counts as a g-force. That also means that any ride that you find boring and forceless, you can make more exciting and forceful simply by touching yourself. Now, g-forces on coasters get split up into six different groups which can be described directionally. There's different g-forces for up, down, left, right, and forwards and backwards. The most common of these g-forces are the vertical g-forces, or positive and negative g-forces. Negative g-forces are usually referred as airtime. A lot of people describe this experience as the feeling as if your stomach is dropping. It's like the feeling that you get when you get left at the altar at the wedding that you paid for and you find out that your fiancé cheated on you with your best man the night before, and they escape the wedding using the $5,000 honeymoon resort that I PAID FOR, MARISSA! Airtime is actually broken down into several different categories depending on how many g-forces you experience. Any forces between 1 and 0 Gs are what are considered semi-floater airtime, or what enthusiasts call no airtime. The reason that a lot of enthusiasts don't like semi-floater airtime is because it doesn't give you that full experience of weightlessness. It's just kind of the ride being a tease, not giving you that full effect. I'm looking at you, Millennium Force First Airtime Hill. You little dirty bitch. At exactly zero Gs, you're experiencing what is called floater airtime. Anything between zero and negative one Gs is semi-ejector airtime, and anything above negative one G, or below, shut up, is considered ejector airtime. In moments of semi-ejector airtime, you begin to feel like you're being lifted out of your seat. During moments of ejector airtime, you feel like you're being completely thrown out of your seat and you're being dragged down by your lap bar. Now a lot of enthusiasts will say that they don't like floater airtime at all and that ejector airtime is the only good airtime. And that's because a lot of enthusiasts are bottoms. Don't know what a bottom is? 
Google it. So you're telling me that you don't like the feeling of free falling and soaring through the wind, and you much rather have no control over your body and have another entity drag you down and throw you around very quickly? Yeah, that's a bottom move for sure. Speaking of bottom moves, let's talk about positive G's. Positive G's is the feeling that you weigh more than what you actually do. If you're experiencing two G's, then you feel like you weigh two times more than you actually do. It feels like you're finally being pulled into the fiery pits of hell. As if the Dark Lord Satan himself has wrapped his icy cold fingers around you and is finally dragging you down into his domain. You try to fight it at first, but you cannot escape the sins of your past. Your vision begins to blur. The void creeps in from all sides. Right before the darkness takes over, you finally begin to accept your fate as you draw one final breath. A lot of enthusiasts will label positive G's under the term intensity. Basically, rides that are very intense are rides that are going to make you pass out while rides that aren't intense won't make you pass out. Now some enthusiasts prefer rides that have more airtime, while other enthusiasts like rides that have more intensity. Any enthusiast that prefers rides that are more intense are also bottoms. Sure, you want a ride in which you're taken control of and held down against your will by a large aggressive force, and you don't want that force to let go until you pass out. That, children, is what is called a big bottom move. Now, the forces that are probably the least talked about are the forwards and backwards forces, or acceleration and deceleration. Now, acceleration is only talked about in launch coasters because regular coasters all accelerate at the same rate. Again, enthusiasts just label faster acceleration as being more intense. Forward Gs, or deceleration, are the most hated out of all the forces. This is because it slows you down and it makes the ride less fun. It's also because coming to a sudden stop on a roller coaster is very uncomfortable. Unlike during an acceleration where you have the entire back as a surface area to push you, during a stop, most of the force comes to where the restraint is hitting you, which is usually right in the abdomen, so it just feels like you're getting punched in the gut. Now we're on our last set of forces, and I save the best for last. That's right, baby. I'm talking about lats. Oh, lats. Hit me with them lats. Oh, I can't get enough of them laterals. Give me some of your lats, daddy. Baby, nothing gives me more turned on than laterals. Lateral Gs are the things that you experience when you get slammed into the side of your seat or slammed into the person next to you. You've probably experienced this if you've ever ridden in the back seat of a car with a driver who takes turns at 25 miles per hour faster than they should be taking them. So for 45 minutes, you're constantly getting slammed into the side door of the car, DAD! Now, a lot of enthusiasts say that they love lateral G-forces, but they get it confused with something else that they call whip. Whip is basically a very fast rotation of your car, but technically rotational acceleration is both positive and horizontal g-forces combined together into one, but I'm not going to get into that because it's a really boring and long conversation. Just know that you're wrong. Whip is just one of those nebulous words that enthusiasts use to make themselves sound smarter, like the word nebulous. It's just another term that means being thrown around, whether it be up and down or left or right, which, hold on. Being thrown up and down really fast? Ding, 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 ding! That sounds like a bottom move to me! And there you have it. In the simplest terms, those are the forces that you experience on a roller coaster. So, what's the takeaway from this? What did we even learn? Well, I think the one thing that we have to take away from this is that all coaster enthusiasts are bottoms! Tune in next week where I talk about the 2019 Golden Ticket Awards. Seriously. Steel Curtain as the number one new ride of 2019. Are you kidding me? There were three RMCs that opened this year that are miles above Steel Curtain. You've got to be kidding me. Like, And Millennium Force over Steel Vengeance again? Yeah, sure. It had some maintenance issues, but with the season of the